Ladies and gentlemen, Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1 is live and I have installed it on my first gen Pixel Fold and in this video I'm going to show you some of the big new changes coming to your Android device uh, relatively soon. So I've got my Pixel 9 Pro Fold pulled out here as well to kind of give you the old view, what things used to look like. And I think we should start off by actually locking both of these devices so I can show you the screen that you now see whenever you're going to enter a pin because it is actually quite a bit different. So you can see on current pixels, it's just this kind of boring black background. But over here with QPR1, the quarterly platform release number one, beta number one, we have this soft blur of the background that I have on my device. And the font is also much bolder as well. Once we do unlock and we look at our quick settings, things are Again, quite different. This is this sort of, in my estimation, kind of now a boring look, whereas this does have that soft blur showing my wallpaper. Also notice the different icons up here in the top right. Look at that Wi-Fi icon. Look at the battery icon as well. Maybe this is something that Samsung could take a lesson in, changing your battery icon but not making it difficult to read by having some uh, darker, more bold text in the battery icon. What a concept. Now we should also be able to click on this pin button and do some pretty interesting things here as well. So not only can we just move different quick setting tiles around, we have the minus button and the plus button to make that actually a little bit easier. It's quicker. You're not just dragging them in and out like you were before. They're actually categorized now, which is a really good idea. There's even an undo button to make that even easier, but I think that you can actually resize these tiles as well to fit more of them in. This is really good. And notice how whenever I resize this one, the other one just sort of slides in to take its place. So if you want to have these smaller icons, maybe it's bugged you for all of these years that these quick settings icons are just so large. Well, now you can just click on them and resize them. And now you have many more quick settings tiles there available to you versus what you were able to have in the past. If we jump into our system settings, in particular the wallpaper and style, I think you can also see some pretty big differences. Let's take this out of dark mode so that you can see a little bit more one-to-one -one what's going on here. And in fact, we'll even go as far as setting the exact same wallpaper so that things should look about as similar as they're going to look. Notice the little injection of color in these little categories to the left-hand side. But this layout is completely different as well. We're getting a larger view that you can kind of scroll between instead of using the buttons up here at the top. Instead of seeing recent wallpapers and colors, they've sort of buried these things a little bit deeper. So I'm not sure how much I actually do like that, but you can still get to all of these settings. As you can see, colors down there buried one layer deeper, and you can actually do other colors as well, which is something that's pretty cool. I think you could do that before. Yes, you could. So they're just kind of rearranging some of these settings just a little bit. Now, once you actually go to set a wallpaper, I think we're actually supposed to have some new effects to use here, and this is actually exactly what I was hoping to see. You can change between these different shapes, and it's kind of cutting my dog's uh, ears out of the photo just a little bit. So we're gonna go with the little weird squiggly squirkle thing. We're gonna go with a nice blue color. You can also do weather. And it'll basically be set to the local weather, but you can also kind of see what that's actually going to look like. And then uh, cinematic, if we actually download that model, we should be able to now toggle this and add 3D motion to this photo. And you can see what that's meant to look like now. I think if I move the device around, it kind of gives it like a parallax effect. I think I'm going to stick with the shape though. Let's see what this actually looks like. So now the wallpaper is set to that image, but the lock screen has that, and it's actually going to give this transition from the lock screen into the device. I think that's actually pretty cool. I think I picked a pretty poor, poor wallpaper to demonstrate it with, but still the concept is kind of neat. Now we did also hear that coming with Material Express that we would have lots of changes to different applications as well. Now it's worth pointing out that with this update, as you can see here in Gmail, we're not really seeing that just yet. 
we're only kind of getting a taste of some of the material expressive stuff. Although, let me open this back up again. I notice whenever I go home, watch the blurred background on the original Pixel Fold versus on the new one. That is definitely different. It's kind of blurring the background and then softly bringing it back into focus. So there are definitely already lots of different touches. I am, in fact, under a tornado warning, so... <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that, don't worry. I'm watching the radar. We're going to be just fine. Lots of visual changes already being made, but some of the things that we saw demoed are definitely still coming. And because, of course, these devices do basically turn from tablets into phones, I'll give you a quick look at how that quick settings section is actually going to look on both now. And look, guys, some of you may you know, have your own opinions on this, and I'm sure that's absolutely fair, but I think that this actually does look really, really good. Nice and clean. I like the uh, volume slider now. It looks a bit different. I actually am, am okay with these sort of bolder looks to the system icons up there in the top right. I think that they are remaining very, very easy to read, but it's got a very kind of clean look that I think looks much more modern than what we had over here in the past. Now guys, like always, if you actually want to test this yourself on your Pixel device, you can go to google.com slash android slash beta. I know I'm under a tornado warning, it's fine. And you can scroll down and you can opt in on your device and install it. Keep in mind though, that once you have done this, you can't leave that beta without wiping your device until the quarterly platform release number one stable is released. Now sort of going the other direction, if you are currently in the beta track and you have been beta testing Android 16 and you want to get out of the beta, your time is very, very soon. I would not recommend opting out just yet because what's going to happen if you opt out is it's going to send you Android 15 stable and that will also wipe your device. Like I've said before, you can always update without wiping, but you can never downgrade. You can't go backwards without wiping. So if you're currently on an Android 16, like 4.1 beta, just wait. Don't let this install. It pops up and it says there's an update and it says it's QPR1. Don't let it install. Just keep not letting it do it. And then eventually what's going to happen is you're going to see the news. Android 16 stable has been released. You can opt out and then wait for your phone to receive that. And you should be okay from there. Let me know in those comments down below, what do you think of these visual design changes? Are you as positive about them as I am? Or do you maybe dislike them and give your reasoning why? If you notice any cool new features in this beta that maybe haven't been talked about specifically in the changelog, do drop that comment down below. And if there are quite a few little hidden gems, I might actually come back and do a follow-up video talking about what else is new in Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1. I would kind of be surprised if there weren't several things tucked in there as well. But for now, that's what I've got for you. I'm going to go back to watching the weather, making sure that we are safe as this storm is approaching. I've got a radar right here, so we're good. We're okay. But that being said, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.